Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serendipity by Melanie. I'm, I made it to the fifth shelf in my storage unit, so I'm just unboxing. You'll see um, a variety from the last box is jewelry, and just showing you some earrings. There are bundles of them, not a problem, lots of them. These are new, never worn. Here's a box of just the backings for them. And more, she was charging like 10 and $15 for a pair. But for me, you know, three, four pair for $10 is fine. Um, these are sterling. These earrings. All the other ones are not precious metals, but they are new. Never worn. And more of these dots. Lightweight. Pretty colors. Just so summery kind of thing. So there's that one box. And I'll just package that back up. That was easy. How is everybody today? It's sunny and beautiful here. You'll hear a lot of noise in the background. There's construction going on. Um, my roommate is now back home, so you'll hear him kicking around and slamming and banging on some wood stuff. I'm not sure why this set is different colors. One's pink and one's purple, but these are pierced earrings. I'm thinking they've been worn. I've shown you these before. I have uh, drop earrings with shells on them. You can change the shells out to anything that you'd like. I like the colors on these ones. It's very pretty. They are lightweight. Like, they they look heavier than what they are. Well, these are pretty. And these ones have been worn. These ones have different backing. So I'd have to change that out. One of the pieces, I guess, was missing. Fashion jewelry. Another pair, drop earrings. Oh, well, I guess I paid a dollar for them. I have a pair of these ones. They're just in a, a white, creamy white. These are nice. Just a small green, not flashy. Here's some owls uh, with rhinestones. There's owl lovers out there, you guys. Oops, these look a bit worn. So I'd probably put them in my crafting. These are heart-shaped, heart um, kind of engraved, um, etched. These are pretty. July birthstone. Just some earrings, hoops, and different shapes. Not a lot of color in this package. A few rhinestones. Oh, I like these ones. I should take those out for myself. These are pretty. Just some lightweight. There's red. And I'm just going to put these few pieces back in. What's in the box? Oh, cabochon. Um, these, these are very pretty. I like these ones. These are handcrafted, new, never worn. They're, these ones have the green on them. I like these pink ones. 
I'm not taking them out of the package because my hands are a little dusty and these haven't been worn or used. And so that's kind of the reason for not taking them out of the package. And then there's another one in here I didn't even notice. Well, I have to take these ones out because there's tissue wrapped around them and I won't be able to show them. I like these. These are not put, these are for like a keychain. They're just the hook that you, for your keychains or your rear view mirror. I like it. You can add it to earrings if you like. I do have a few somewhere around. So there's another box, you guys. Okay. Ooh, this one looks busy. Busy, busy. Oof. So these have not been worn. So just an orange and white, some beads, and then the disc at the bottom to highlight the colors here. Short in length, but it has matching earrings to them. And here's the one earring. But just the same as the necklace. So that's a nice little set. Oh, and I forget, um, Poshmark Canada, I'm under Serendipity Mail because there wasn't enough room for my full name. But um, if you join and use my name as your code, you'll get credit for $10 so on your first purchase. I think after you do a purchase, I get $10 credit. I'm not sure about that aspect of it, but I like this one. Very milky purple. Um, but I do know you do get a $10 credit, so please just, you know, you don't have to live in Canada to go on there. Um, and if you want any of my items, just send me an email and I can take it off that site and um, sell it to you privately. And the reason I say that is I don't feel uncomfortable doing it because there is um, no fee to list them. It's only when you sell them, right? But... This is pretty. Oh, I like this. And it looks like I have two of them. Oh, it's the matching earrings with them. Yeah, I have matching earrings to go with it. Very nice. I bought so much stuff, I guess I get the earrings free because it says the earring on the earring bag, it said free. So it must have been a gift. <laughs> this is all new from the store I bought out in Ontario. And this is the gold tone, simple necklace with the navy blues, bit of brown. I like it. Hangs nicely. Some of them, you know, you don't know if they're heavy enough just to have a nice hang to them. Those look small, but they do have a nice hang. I'm not knowledgeable about all this stuff. I just, um, I like bulk buying and um, giving you the discounts where I can. This is pretty. This is a nice weight to it, too. Clear beads. Lots of sparkle in it. I like the movement. You know, if I, the more that I buy, the cheaper prices they are. And then I just usually flip them and sell them. I moved out of the city, so I, I haven't been selling online. Now I started my YouTube channel, so um, I'll just sell there instead. Because in the city, you know, um, people will come and pick it up. Or I drop them off. Here's a couple of bracelets in black and the rainbow beads. I can't remember what they're called. Opalescent. They have a sparkle to them. 
I like this. Um, there's something about this one. I've sold a few of them, so I know I'm not alone. But um, it's these are just retro vintage necklace, short length, in just a nice milky green. Cold to the touch, so that it feels like a glass bead. And like I say, I'm not the only one. I've sold a few of those. So I think just another video or two today and then I have to go chop some firewood. I didn't get all my firewood last year so oh, this one's a little off center here. It will slide down there. So it's just a black rope necklace but look at that. The colors in there are so pretty. And I'd put that in a mystery box, no problem. I feel comfortable doing that. And like the price on this one, she has at $27. So again, I would feel comfortable putting it in a $20 jewelry lot mystery box with some other pieces, um, three to five pieces in the boxes. Look at this, isn't that pretty? Just the green is so nice. Oh, the lighting's changing. But that is a nice green. I'm just going to slide it back in the Ziploc here. There. <laughs> Open and close. Here's a white one. They look like disco balls. Just the bigger ones down here. She had it for $46.95 and then the price is $24 on the back. That's not what I paid. Hence why I can do mystery bo boxes and add extra. So this is like black and blue and gold tones. This isn't really heavy. I mean, it's got good weight to it, but isn't that nice? I love this one. So there's another box. I'll just scoot things over. And this box says necklaces found one of those was a little dusty so I just had to wipe my hands. So I have a few of these that I've sold and they're just the multi strands, pink, green, yellow and they are new. Here's just some bead landing for extra necklaces. I like this set just because the difference in the blue it is a short necklace, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I have earrings that go with it. So I have a pair of the earrings. And they are pierced earrings. But I like that set, for sure. Just that color to that blue is so nice. Like, it reminds me of ocean. I have a couple of, or just one. And it's just the necklace here. I'm just unraveling it because it, it's been folded up. Lots of construction going on in my area. You'll hear it in the background. And uh, this week that I'm doing the filming, I have to spend a few days in town with my mom, and so I wanted to catch up. Just to repeat myself, Thursdays at 10 Eastern Time, I'll be doing um, Bring Back the Brooches and then jewelry sales at that time, too. If you're interested in something, please just send me an email. But I thought that I'd do pop-ups for Thursdays. 
And my regular sales are Saturday at 12 noon Eastern Time. And um, this is glitter. This is just a nice, simple heart on the black rope, like new, never worn. This one is pretty nice. Very nice, in my opinion. Look at that. Grays and the silver tone. That's a nice necklace. That one has been worn. And like with something like that, I would definitely feel comfortable putting it in a, sorry, just scooting around here, in a mystery box, along with, you know, three to five pieces. This is pretty too. Just um, the blues in it, and it has one of those vintage looking keys just on the black rope. Whew, nice. That's a statement piece. It's like a choker style, short. Look at the rhinestones. I like that one. This is nice too. Beads, um, just from the tissue paper, there's, <laughs> there's glitter on the tissue paper, so it's on some of the jewelry. That's nice. This is lightweight, imitation, um, they're just beads, but very, like you have to touch it to realize that it's not heavy metal. They are very nice plastic. Oh. This is another statement piece. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Short necklace. There. Just looking at the time, I should be able to get through the last two boxes. This one says necklaces and display set. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, my killer dog brown sugar. This has rhinestones, and I can't tell. I think it's blue, navy blue. My roommate forgets that I'm filming. I hope you didn't hear what he said. Okay. <laughs> this is all rhinestone on the chain. And then just the pointy pieces, but the whole chain is the rhinestones. And um, I, I really think that this will be my last video for the day. As, um, like I said, Lawrence is just getting out of hand out there and he forgets. This is pretty. So this is three strand. The iridescent. And then it clips up top. I like it. And then it also has the clip-on earrings that go with it. Can you tell I'm getting a little frustrated? Turn up out there! <laughs> so this seems to be a bracelet set. This is old. A necklace and the bracelet that goes with it. This is quite an age. It shows, to me it needs cleaning. I don't clean or repair um, items, but that would look really nice cleaned up. Like really nice. Just opening the box. Here's a cabochon. 
It's probably an inch and a half. Here is a small necklace with a just a clap and it was probably what was holding the cabbage on. So they're not together anymore. This is a chunkier piece. This looks like the 70s or 80s. Um, I would hang this and then hang my earrings in the center of it. Here's another short gold tone necklace. This is a heavier necklace, like not really heavy, but it has weight to it. I just remind myself I'm perfect and don't do you forget it. Right? He's having fun out there just in the yard. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. See, I don't even remember what I have, you guys. So three st strands with the clasp up top. But look at these beads. Like, aren't they lovely? That's nice. Yeah, I like that. So just a few boxes inside the box. So this is necklace and it seems that there's earrings that go with it. The things are a little twisted, sorry. So here is the base of the necklace. And then this is the earrings, what they looked, you know, wrapped caged wire. So just a homemade set there. Ugh. I can't get the lid off. Huh. See, as soon as you cut your fingernails off, all of a sudden you need them. Here's another one similar to what I just showed you, but in the purple, the amethyst stones. I don't know if they're real. They're cool to the touch, so I do believe that they are amethyst. Oh, this is pretty. This necklace in the light purple. That one's pretty. That'd be something I'd wear, of course. Here's a little owl. It's all tucked in the padded. He's cute. <laughs> Owls are quite popular. Here's, mm, this is just, there's no chain to it, but this is a pendant for your necklace. Here's another metal necklace, 70s, 1980s. Here's another pendant. A necklace here, the drop necklace. Is this from the 80s, you guys? I'll hold it open so it looks proper. I'm thinking they are. And this is just another cabochon, if I can just get it to flip over in the nice blue color. I really like those necklaces. I mean, I could use them anywhere because I just love it. I'll put those up there. And I'll just give a quick look in this bottom one. Oh, this is just all... Um, here's a hair barrette. Just trying to take it out of the package here. The name on it says more than design. So I assume that, sorry, the package is too tight for it. More than design, fashion jewelry for $20. So this is just rhinestones on a hair clip, so I would put, you know, your ponytail. Looks like a crown.
And I think, like, that's, I think these are just from Wish. They're not, not expensive. Just, you know, six, eight dollar kind of thing, if I remember correctly. And you just stick it into your hair piece. They are new. I haven't used them on anything yet. And these are nice. And again, just probably from Wish. I was just using them different. You know, who doesn't want to be a princess? I don't have grandchildren, but I, I just think of things like this for the grandkids. So this is just, you know, the bride would wear this in her hair and this would drop in the middle of your forehead. And I have two of those. And then this one here, my scissors. And this just clips in your hair. Like these are clips up here. And then it just drapes along your hair. So I would imagine I got these also from Wish. So that's the end of this video, you guys. I think I'll take a break and I have enough videos for the week when I'm away and I hope everything is good in your world. I appreciate you spending time with me. Please subscribe, share the video, hit like, mm, put a comment. Hope to see you on Thursday evenings um, if you're a night owl and uh, Saturday morning, uh, it would be 12 noon Eastern time, but it is 9 in the morning for me. So I hope to see you there and enjoy the remainder of all my videos. Shelf number five. Have a good one. Bye-bye.